Hey guys, Ramblin' Bob here again. I want to show you what I learned about voltage sag. Now, in, in the audio industry, um, your voltage is very powerful. Oh, electricity industry too. Your voltage is very powerful because that's your starting pressure of how much energy you're going to put through a line or whatever. So, what I'm going to show you today is I'm going to show you a humongous 50-foot cable. Okay, that's an outdoor electric cable. And then uh, this is another one, and we're going to put those together. And then on top of that, we're going to add another 10-foot one on top of that just to show you voltage sag in real time and why it's dangerous or uh, hard to uh, kind of calculate your power because uh, you're losing power and you don't even kind of understand where sometimes. Um, real quick, if you see a cable that's twisted like this, that means it was either overused as far as uh, very hot uh, amps going through a lot of amps and very cold temperature so it shrinks this stuff or it's very cheap so this is obviously a better cable than this one they both have been used outside and this one is getting ready for the junkyard but i thought i'm going to make a video with these before i get rid of them or you can save the copper in there that's kind of cool too okay so and we're going to use one of these two of these and three of these so now we have three meters everyone always wondered why i have so many of these meters they're like Ramble, Bob, why do you have so many of these multimeter things? It's like, well, they're they're more of a kilowatt meter, but I'll show you why. Uh, you know, it's, it's, I, like if I hook all those in, I can test four things at, at one time and get the the runtime right. So it's always good to have a handful of these on, maybe at least two on on uh, standby here. So okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you, and we're gonna use a 1500 watt heater to show this. Now you normally do not ever want to run a heater on an extension cord, and I'll show you why. It has to do with that voltage sag. So we're gonna take this and plug this into my main power station, and we're gonna put it to volts okay so we're coming out 118.8 volts so it's a little bit less than 120 what i like to see but uh, out of your house it'll probably be 120. so we're gonna put that bad boy into there okay now we're gonna try to get this to cooperate here and then we're gonna take this one and we're gonna put this patch in between so that's another multimeter so notice that it's actually higher than the first one hard to explain okay that's called open voltage circuit. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put another one here. Like I said, don't do this, guys. I'm just showing you this just so you can understand on your solar panel runs or your electricity runs what not to do. Don't do this. It's not a good idea. Okay. Just so you can understand. You know, the learning is always fun, guys. Now, notice that that one has a different than all of them. So 119, 119. 118 so they're all kind of different but that's open circuit voltage so the, the the open circuit voltage is about the same running through all that's a hundred foot of cable right and then remember we're going to put another one on there so 110 foot of cable we're going to run 1500 watts which like i said is not a good idea it's not a safety thing but it's a learning experience so of what not to do like i said when i used to cut down trees um or when i learned how to cut down trees i wanted to learn uh, who did it wrong so i can learn what not to do rather than what to do and when you see a video of somebody doing something improperly and then they explain to you hey that's not a good idea you learn a lot quicker especially if there's an accident involved holy crap zilla and now we're going to put this 1500 watt heater in here okay so now very simple you can see the one hopefully you can see it it's one uh 118.8 ish it'll fluctuate so about 119 about 119 and about 119 right now watch what happens the second literally the second that i turn on the power and use 1500 watts to this cable what happens and like i said the reason i'm explaining this is so you don't make your mistake on your cable runs for your solar or if you hook up stuff like this uh, repeat after me no heaters on extension cords. It's not a good thing. Okay, so here we go We're gonna put 1500 watts now and now watch these numbers guys look at that drop 117 That's 111 and this is 107.9 So right away you literally dropped almost 10 volts by going 110 That's one volt for every 11 feet approximately, right? That's horrible So now you're running your equipment at hundred and eight 107 108 rather than the 120 that you normally would have come out uh, of a wall with in this instance it was 119 but now if you were to do that with solar panels right um let's let's get a calculator here i got a calculator on the screen here uh sorry about the flicker rate guys the only way i can stop it is to turn off this this led light here okay so um if if, if you started out with uh let's see um 
Boy, I lost my train of thought here. Let me catch back up here. 15, uh, 15 amps, okay. So 15 amps, uh, which would be 100 and, let's see, 100 and, let's start with 120, 120. Holy cow. I turned up the light and my brain went blank. <laughs> okay, so uh, 120, and then you're going to minus 108. Well, actually, wait, let's start over here. It's 119 it was. Minus 107.9. Okay, so... So now you have 11 volts different, okay? So if you had a solar panel that's, let's say, 45 volts, okay, at 400 watts, and then that would be, uh, let's see, 400 divided by 45, and that would give you your amps. So it's just about under 9 amps, okay? Now here's the thing. If you're only bringing in 35 volts from the system because you're running that cable that darn long, right? The voltage is going to drop once you hook it to a load with charging batteries as a load, right? Then you're going to have that 35 times, let's see, um, oh boy, let's see, uh, was it about, about, about nine, okay? So now you have 315, okay? Where normally you would bring in about 400 watts. So you lose approximately 85 watts on a run like this if you have it run so far. Now obviously a bigger cable will help, but you still have what's called voltage sag. So that's that's a very important thing when you when you run your cables, guys. Look at it, so down to 107. Now it's running, it's a purely resistive load. That's the only reason I'm doing this, is because it's a straight heater. But if you had expensive equipment on this stuff, it's bad enough that this is already dropping to 116 over here, but you're all the way down to 108, 107 by the time you get to your equipment. So just to give you an idea, I just wanted to make this video um, showing what would happen if you put too much line in between solar panels and your charger or your wall and uh, whatever you're using, especially the higher power that you're, you're pushing up. And remember, when the voltage drops, the pressure drops. The higher the voltage, the more the pressure is, like a straw. So it's easier, higher voltage is easier to go through a small cable than lower voltages. If this were to come down to about 80 or 90, you could have literally what's known as a brownout. And that can, you know, burn out part of the city or town you live in, if, you know, on a major scale, of course. But uh, very dangerous for equipment because, remember, all of our stuff in this country is made to run at 110 volts. So just to give you an idea again, you have a 400-watt panel, right? And then if you brought it in at 45 volts, that's just, uh, let's, let's do exact, 8.88 .88 amps, right? That's 400 watts. And then if you, uh, by the time you brought it in, you only got 35 times 8.88, .88, right? A bunch of eights. See? You lose a lot, 311. So that's where your power is going, guys. Make your solar runs and your electricity runs as short as you can. Obviously, it doesn't work in all situations, but you really want to make the effort so you don't drop voltage like this. And now watch the open circuit voltage. As soon as I hit that button, look, they all shoot right back up to 119 because there's no effect on the line. And then as soon as I turn it on, watch this bad boy drop. Look at this, guys. There's the click, and there you look at that. That's horrible. So you're losing about 10 volts. That's a lot when it comes to your solar run, don't you think? All right, I just want to make a quick video explaining what not to do, guys. Don't do this. It's not a good idea. Not to mention lower voltage and, and more amps. This heats up a lot more, guys. And notice they all say 60 hertz. So you don't even realize it until it's too late. So feel the connections make sure your connections are cool especially when they're together make sure they're cool if they are cool you're okay but i recommend having a few of these on hand just in case guys and then for your solar runs you can check them with a little meter guys little tiny little meter uh let me grab one real quick here i know i got one somewhere okay let me let me grab one here These little guys here, okay, I had to find one here. These little guys. So use these, let me turn this back on here so you can see good. So you can see that. Um, this will tell you what kind of voltage drop you're having. So if you're gonna run a long cable, which I don't recommend, 
at least get a higher gauge cable, a fatter gauge cable, which is actually a lower number. It's kind of backwards, guys. So if you have 20 gauge, you'd want to get 10 or 8, right? Or 12 or higher, at least. Uh, tw sorry, 12 or lower in numbers, which is actually a fatter cable. But have one of these and check it at the beginning of your run from your solar panel. Find out what you, what's coming out at that power and then go to the end of your run and see what you're getting voltage-wise at the end of your run before you, uh, you, you, you make a permanent install. And then you can see if your wire is... Uh, good or bad and how much power you're losing so you can at least understand when you do the math later it comes out to an understandable number other than you stand in there and scratch your head and go how come it's 10 to 50 even in this situation 70 to 85 watts less right than what was coming out over here right isn't that crazy so now here i'll do the same thing real quick and i'll end this video i'm going to do the same test but i'm only going to run off one okay so there you go this is 118 guys put it right here hopefully you can see that that's 100 so 119 volts starting i click the button you wait till the heater filament clicks on and now notice that you're dropping down to 117 ish 116 see so it's low enough as it is right out of the socket where you're coming from guys so don't make your electronics work harder or your cables work harder let's try to keep that as high as you can that way you get the best use of your power. All right, guys, I just want to show this video and hopefully it'll help some people into what not to do. Do not extend your wires of your solar or your house or anything like that. That's why in commercial and retail stuff, uh, extension cords are a no-no. The fire marshal will come in and literally give you a fine for using extension cords in a business. Uh, all right, guys, ramble on, be safe, and I'll see you again on Rambling Bobby Views. Bye, guys.